For one second, can we talk about the New Orleans Saints and how they have made me eat my words like I'm a fat kid in a freaking Hershey's candy shop? I cannot believe that I'm going to say what I'm about to say, but the Saints right now, not only are the best team in the NFC South, they might be the best team in the NFC, and they may be Super Bowl contenders. I don't know if you heard what I said. The Saints may be Super Bowl contenders right now. What just happened? And that is because, and I don't even really have the answer for why. I don't really know. I mean, sure, they have a veteran team. There's a lot of older guys on that team, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, there's a lot of experience there. Derek Carr is playing out of his mind, and maybe, again, we we just talked about this with the, the Bryce Young conversation and other quarterbacks that don't necessarily look great in some locations and look revitalize another but we we've kind of seen what Derek Carr has been over the years and maybe again we we might have to pump the brakes here in a couple of weeks because it's just week two that we're talking about but he doesn't look like the Raiders Derek Carr he doesn't look like the guy throwing up just random passes and you know interceptions abound or making bad decisions or not being able to lead a consistent offense that's not what we look like that's not what he looks like and maybe we all slept on the Saints offensive line maybe we slept on the fact that Alvin Kamara was still Alvin Kamara, who is just abs. By the way, all for life. Go Big Orange. But he's still out here doing Alvin Kamara stuff. 100 plus on the ground, tutty after tutty. They're throwing the deep ball like right now. No one else in the league is. With Rashid Shahid, that is looking. That combination, Derek Carr to double deuce down the field for 50, 60, 70 has been money both weeks. They're playing stifling defense. Cam Jordan told me on the house call pod earlier this year, if you guys haven't seen that, go subscribe over there, that he is going to wreak havoc on the NFC South and that their defense was going to be shut down. And again, it isn't just him. You got the backers. You got Tyran Matthew coming back to New Orleans and doing his thing down there. That's always nice to see an LSU guy back in New Orleans. On the other side of things, holy shit. The Dallas Cowboys, I told you after week one, they would at some point return to form. And again, I don't know if this is more about the Saints or more about the Cowboys, but good Lord almighty. Dak had moments with C.D. Lamb, and that connection's still dangerous in the league. But two interceptions that are just, I mean, you can say they're not Dak's fault. It is what it is. They're interceptions. Mara goes for three touchdowns. Again, he's just styling on motherfuckers. And again, they're consistently taking care of the football. That's, again, I, I, I talked about it with you guys. Teams that win football games run the ball well, and they don't turn it over. Happening so far this year. Again, we're two weeks in. No need to pull the, oh my God, it's the Super Bowl champion New Orleans Saints trigger yet. But... They look good. They look like, again, the best team in the NFC right there. They could be the best team in the NFC right there, right now. I mean, the Bucks, the Vikings. I know the Niners are struggling or Brock Purdy went absolutely insane. I don't know who to attribute this to. Is this another year where Dallas shows us their hand after paying 240 for Dak, after paying one plus, after paying 100 plus mil, 140, whatever it was for CeeDee Lamb, and they still just have no idea how to win football games, even at home. And they still struggle to create consistent offense, even at home. Or are the Saints just that good? I don't have that answer. <laughs> that we're sitting here talking about week two to week three, the Saints being 2-0, and the Cowboys 1-1 one and one on two just completely different performances. And by the way, the Saints ran the ball all over. The Dallas defense. This Dallas defense that was what? Number one in the league last year? Behind Micah Parsons and Trayvon Diggs over there. You have a front four. You have a front seven that usually, at least last year, and last year's not this year, were able to contain the run. Were able to play solid defense. Keep their offense, who sometimes would struggle sometimes. Keep their offense. Keep offenses off the field. Keep their offense on the field. Look like a better team. Dak is on his four-year deal. C.D. Lamb, you got him for another four. This is supposed to be the run for the Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott is going to age out at some point. This is it. You have to find some cohesiveness. You have to find somebody, quite frankly, other than C.D. Lamb to throw the football to. If you're Dallas. Like, we, we get it. We know now that C.D. And, and Dak is the move. Tolbert's got to get more involved. To me, Brandon Cooks has got to get more involved. To me. But you look down that roster and six carries, 16 yards, two and, a, two and a half per carry. That is just despicable. I don't know whether to take them 
super seriously or not just yet. And I think the, the, the entire fan base and the entire league as a collective is going, okay, well, they're 2-0. Are they really going to be able to keep this up? Is this really the Saints? Is this really who you are, right? We're in week two where we're asking teams, is the real so-and-so, right? We're in week two where teams are still wearing their mask and defenses haven't gotten a ton of film on some of these teams yet. So are, are you really, Saints, are you really that good? Is that really who you're going to be? I don't know, man. I don't know. What I can say is we're going to find out this week. They got the Eagles at home. That'll be an interesting game. The Eagles, we're going to talk about in a separate video, completely shit the bed in their game. But then you got the Falcons, who again, in this Falcons-Eagles game, didn't look like an offensive juggernaut. They got an opportunity to go into that Chiefs game 4-0. And we may be talking about, like I said, one of the best teams in the NFC. I can't believe what I'm saying. I can't believe what I'm seeing. But the New Orleans Saints, through two weeks, if we're power ranking things, they just go to freaking Jerry World and stomp on the Cowboys' faces after stomping the shit out of the Panthers in week one, making the Cowboys look like the Panthers is fucking crazy. The Saints might be for real. I'm not willing to say they are just yet, but they might be. And these two next, and these next two weeks are going to show us. Saints. And these two next weeks are going to show us just how for real the Saints are. I don't know yet, but I guess we'll find out.